What is social engineering? It may sound like a university course or a career option, but in the world of information security, it's a common attack method used by cyber attackers. Social engineering is the practice of deception. It's someone trying to manipulate you to get what they want. There's nothing technical about it. Sure, it can involve computers, but it can also happen through phone calls, text messages, social media, or even in person. Let's say you get an urgent message from your bank. Your account has expired and is about to be locked, so you have to update your account information. You call the number in the message, and an automated system asks you to answer some questions to prove your identity. Pretty straightforward, right? Unfortunately, the message wasn't really from your bank. The system was set up by criminals to record your information, such as your address, phone number, birth date, credit card information, or bank numbers. By you sharing that information, cyber criminals can now steal your money or even your identity. That's a pretty common trick because it's so simple and effective. But social engineering attacks can also be more complex. For example, you might get an urgent email from your boss informing you that law enforcement is conducting a secret investigation and that people could even go to jail. The email states that the legal team will be calling you in 15 minutes with a bunch of questions you need to answer. It seems like a scary situation, and it is. However, that email was never really sent by your boss, and that phone call was not from the head of legal. Instead, the email was sent by cyber attackers pretending to be your boss. The phone call was the same cyber attacker pretending to be the head of legal. These attacks often work by making you feel rushed, by creating a sense of urgency, or using confusing jargon. A cyber attacker can rush you into making a mistake. Like many social engineering attacks, no one hacked your computer or broke into your home, but you may have willingly given sensitive information away because you thought the message was from a trusted source. These attackers are good at what they do and are constantly adapting. Attackers are often not looking for flaws in technology, rather creating situations to trap individuals. They play on our emotions. Anyone can fall victim. The key is to know when to have your guard up. Here are some clues that you should be extra alert. If you feel you are being rushed, when something's urgent, you tend to throw caution to the wind. Attackers try to keep you from having time to think it over. If you receive a request to bypass procedures or ignore policies, this is a sign that what you're being asked to do may be unethical and risky. If someone is being overly curious or prying. If someone asks for information they shouldn't have access to, or their questions make you uneasy, it's time to be suspicious. If a request is using confusing jargon, sometimes attackers use technical sounding language to convince you to just go along with their scheme. Don't act if you don't understand. If something sounds too good to be true. If a message tells you that you've won something, be skeptical, especially if you don't even remember entering a contest. If the tone or message is off. Does a message sound like it really came from its supposed source? Does a greeting use your name or is it general? Is the language or grammar a little funny? Always remember, in the information age, information is currency. You wouldn't hand over money without thinking twice. So be careful when someone asks you to give away information. If you ever suspect that you might be in the middle of a social engineering attack, stop all communication with the potential attacker immediately and contact the information security team.